Hello, second grade. This is module one, lesson seven. And our objective is today is I can take from 10 within 20. So our first problem here is 30 minus seven. What we're gonna do is we're gonna break down this 30. So we're gonna take 10 out and we have 20 left. Then we need to make our next number sentence. So we're gonna take this 10 here, put it over here. Do you notice how I made it the same colors here so that you can see where I'm taking it from? Then I take this seven and I bring it down here. Now what is seven or 10 minus seven? If you said three, excellent job. Okay, so now we need to take our 20 from over here and we're gonna add this three that we got. So 20 from here, three from here. So what's 20 plus three? Did you say 23? Excellent job if you did. So 30 minus seven, which I moved over here, 30 minus seven equals 23. Okay, let's try this one. 40 minus seven. So first we need to break this 40 up. We're gonna take 10 out and then how many do we have left? I want you to go ahead and write 40 minus seven on your whiteboard or your desk and then uh, break it up. Take 10 out and tell me what is left over. Did you write 30 and 10? So you, we took the 10 out and we have 30 left there. So now we need to make our next number sentence. Do you remember what we're taking from here? All right, we're gonna take the 10 minus seven equals, what is 10 minus seven? Go ahead and write that down. Did you write three? If you did, give yourself a kiss, kiss on the brain. Now we need to write our next number sentence. You need to write this, take that 30 plus this three here. What's 30 plus three? 33. So our number sentence should look like 40 minus seven equals 33. Okay, I want you to go ahead and break up this one and then write your number sentences Go ahead and push pause and then push, push play when you're done and we'll s compare ours and see if we got the same thing. Okay, so when you broke up this 80, did you get 70 and 10? So what was your first number sentence? Did you write 10 minus eight? What did you say 10 minus eight equals? equals two, very good. Okay, so now we need to take our get our next number sentence, which, which is 70 plus two. And what did you put down as 70 plus two equals? 72, very good. So 80 minus eight equals 72. Give yourself a kiss on the brain if yours looks like mine. Excellent job. Go ahead and push pause and then push play when you're done answering this one. Okay, so when you broke up the 70, did you have the 60 and the 10? And then what was your first number sentence that you wrote down here? Did you write 10, 10 minus six? What is 10 minus six? Four, very good. Okay, now your next number sentence was 60 plus four. What did you write down as 60 plus four equals? 64, very good. Okay, so 70 minus six equals 64. Okay, let's move on to this next strategy. I've got 10 circles here and I crossed out nine. So my number sentence is 10 minus nine equals one. Does this look like the uh, strategy we did yesterday. Does this look familiar? It should because we did do it yesterday. So if we had 
10 minus 9 and we crossed out the 10. Let's take 11 minus 9 and we cross out 9. And how many do we have left? We're going to break this up into 1 and 10. And we have the 10 and the 9 here. Ten minus nine equals one. So I took this ten and this nine, and I got one left here. Now I need to take this one, move it over here. This one, move it over here. What's one plus one equals two? Very good. So eleven minus nine equals two. And if you look down here, that is what we got here. Okay, so without the picture, we're going to do this without the picture now. So we need to break that 12 up. How are we going to do that? We're going to take out 2 and we have 10 left over. So our first number sentence is going to be 10, 10 minus 9 here. What is 10 minus 9? Very good, 1. Now our next number sentence is going to be the one from here. We're going to take the two from here. One plus two equals three. So 12 minus nine equals three. Let's see if you can do this. I want you to uh, push pause and then push play. I want you to break up the 12. That's what you're going to do first. Break up the 12. Push pause and then push play when you're done. Okay, so when you broke up the 12, did it look like this? Did you have the t take out the 2 and you had 10 left? Very good. Now go ahead and write your first number sentence. Push pause and then push play when you're done. Is this what your first number sentence looked like? 10 minus 8. What did you say 10 minus 8 equals? Did you say 2? If you did, give yourself a kiss on the brain. Now go ahead and, and write your next number sentence. Push pause and then push play when you're done. Did you write two plus two? What did you say two plus two equaled? Did you say four? If you did, give yourself a kiss on the brain. Excellent job. So 12 minus eight equals four. I want you to go ahead and do all of this one. Break up the 11, do your number sentences, solve 11 minus 5, push pause, and then push play when you're done. Okay, let's see if yours looks like mine. I'm going to break up the 11, so I had took out 1, and then I had 10 left over. My first number sentence is going to be 10 minus 5 equals 5. Is that what you've gotten so far? I hope so. Then my next number sentence is going to be 5 plus 1. And I said 5 plus 1 equals 6. So 11 minus 5 is 6. If yours looks like mine, give yourself a kiss on the brain. Excellent job. Okay, here's our next problem. Go ahead, push pause, and then push play when you're done solving it. Okay, let's see if we got this right. We broke up the 13, we pulled out 3, and had 10 left. My first number sentence is going to be 10 minus 6, and that equals, what was it? 4, very good. Then my next number sentence was 4 plus 3. What is 4 plus 3? 7. Very good. So 13 minus 6 equals 7. If yours looks like mine, give yourself a pat on the back. Excellent job. Oh, let's do this next one. Go ahead and push pause and then push play when you're done. Alright, let's see if we got the same thing. I broke up the 11 by pulling out 1 and I had 
in left over. My first number sentence was 10 minus 7. So 10 minus 7 here. And that equals 3. Then I wrote down my next number sentence, which was 3 plus 1. 3 plus 1 equals 5? No, that's silly. 3 plus 1 equals 4. So 11 minus 7 equals 4. Okay, so here is our number or our words, word problem here. It says, Ricardo gave five tacos to his sister. He started with 13. How many tacos did Ricardo have left? So you need to think about, are you going to add or subtract to figure out how many tacos he had left? after he gave his sister five tacos. That was sure nice of him. I'm glad he's sharing. So now we need to figure out how many he has left. Go ahead and push pause and then push play when you're done solving this. You can use any strategy you would like to solve. Did you say that 13 minus five is how you are going to solve this? If you did, excellent job. Now, remember, you could have picked any strategy to solve this. Let's see if you got the same answer as me. I got 8. Did you say that 13 minus 5 equals 8? If you did, give yourself a kiss on the brain. Excellent job. Here's your exit ticket for today that you're going to seesaw. You're going to first erase your entire board or your desk. You are going to do numbers one and two. When you're done, you're going to take a picture and you're going to send it to your teacher. Good luck.